Good morning. Today we're going to speak about the subject of xenophobia and why I believe it doesn't pay for us to to adopt a pointed attitude towards foreigners who come to Singapore. Now I'm going to make this very simple. If I had to summarize the main reasons why we cannot adopt this kind of attitude any longer, it is simply because so many of us have to go outside Singapore in order to turn the wheel of life. And we do it by often leaving our families in Singapore, our wives, our children, our loved ones. And we ourselves go out in order to, uh, to start enterprises, enterprises like this. I've been here for nearly three years, and within that short span of time, more and more Singaporeans are coming out of Singapore. They are really forced to do so, and it's not a matter of choice. Because once you reach a certain age, even if you happen to be a professional man, you are no longer competitive. And one reason for that is because of the uh, corrosive uh, immigration policies of the government. They allow so many professionals to come in. They don't have a baseline criteria. And so what you essentially create is uh, conditions whereby only the fittest survive. Unfortunately, if you happen to be within a certain age band, let's say 45 to 55, then things are going to be uphill for you if you want to be a high-paying professional man. So there's only a few choices left to you. One, you can decide to downgrade. You may perhaps even decide to uh, drive a taxi or turn the wheel of life as a security guard. But for many people who, who believe that there's much more to life and that sometimes it is not really a matter of choice, but it's just the cost of, uh, of uh, being a family man or just uh, trying to do your very best for your children then these people will have to go abroad. They would have to work in Beijing. They have to go to Cambodia, Laos, some to Europe. Some will go into fields like accountancy, middle management, plantations, trading. But whatever that, that uh, preoccupation that they may be doing in their other countries, I think what's important to realize is that they're already marinating themselves in a foreign community. And the world is very fluid now. Even if you look around in Singapore, you find that there are a lot of Burmese, there are, there are a lot of Vietnamese, there are a lot of PRCs, there are even Nigerians. And, and so if you happen to be a planter and you're based in Nigeria, and the Nigerians who go to Singapore to study, they didn't have a very good time because every time they switch on or log in to the internet, they find that Singaporeans are, are just throwing out bal at them. Then all this is going to come around. The people who work outside Singapore are going to find it very difficult. They're going to find it very difficult because it's so hard for them to establish goodwill. And when you are working in a foreign country, the hardest thing to do is to build goodwill. Goodwill is one of the hardest things to, to, to achieve, in my opinion. And this is where I think that those of you who are in the home front would have to think very carefully about this. Even as you blog, <coughs> as you log in to post a comment, I think it's important to spare a thought for many of your compatriots who are working abroad and to come to an understanding that uh, whatever problems we may all face due to the influx of foreigners, it is best not to get personal about it. By all means, take the issue up directly with the government. Don't allow them to run away from their commitment and obligations. Pin them down. But do not uh, do it in such a way whereby 
you actually begin to hate foreigners because when you do that ironically it's not so different from making life difficult for your fellow compatriots and perhaps even your children one day because one day he may also have to work abroad outside Singapore just to turn the wheel of life and I think when we begin to see the world in this uh, in this interconnected sense, then what it will actually force us to do is reevaluate many of our time-honored assumptions. I hope that some of you will consider this very, very carefully. Thank you.